what is the scariest game that you have ever played? Some of you may say Outlast or maybe Resident Evil or Doki Doki Literature Club But my scariest game that I have ever played in my childhood before is Mega Man Legends 2 I know I know what you're thinking. Why this PS2 game with a happy music and a really cute waifu is a the scariest game that I have ever played in my childhood? Well, today, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mr. Mas channel. The story of Saul Kada. What is Saul Kada? It's the ru ruins. Ruins. Ru I still don't know how to pronounce ruins. So anyway, there is a ruin in Mega Man Legends 2 called Saul Kada. So these are the third ruins. ruins. I'm picking up something really big near you. To your right. It's probably a giant reaver bot. But I've never seen one this big. Be careful, Mega Man. As you can see, the ambient song is so, so creepy. As a kid, I almost shit myself by just hearing this. Just look at this. It's so dark and you cannot see anything in this hallway. Also, I want you to listen I'm something, something that really big she said. You. To your right, it's probably a giant reaver bot. But I've never seen one this big. Okay, the fact that this ha hallway really dark and we cannot see anything, uh, I mean, we can see something but if you stand too far away, you, you, you will get jump scared by this. This robot looks really creepy and how is this game rated for kid? I mean, when you enter a big room, you, you always thinking, is there anything behind me or something? Is there an enemy nearby? And it just really giving you anxiety. I think the real reason why this game is look looks so creepy because of the PS1 graphic. I don't know if this game released on PS1 or PS2 but it have that uh, PS1 low polygon kind of graphic and it's always give me a creep. Now I want to show you. I want to f show you the scariest part of this level. As a kid, I, I jump okay, I jump from the my computer as a kid. Just look at that. Look how big that thing is. And he just smashed his head. I mean, look at, look at how big is him. He just walked in that dark void, dark room, something, I don't know. As a kid, I always wonder, why, why this robot here? Why, why it's so big? Who the hell create this robot? And what will happen if this robot escape from this underground? What, what will happen, you know, if this robot escape? So, the robot that you just see is a uh, name, uh, I forgot, I forgot the name. But that robot is a boss fight in this uh, particular level. Now look at this boss fight. When I was a kid, I, I, I seriously, I refused to fight this robot because it's so big. I, I, I refuse to fight this robot, you know. It also can regenerate health by drinking a freaky lava. Growing. Wait, How wait a minute. What? What? Wait, wait. When you have a seizure, what, 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 what? And after that, I stopped playing this game. I delete it from my PC. I mean, it's kind of sad though because this game is my childhood. Another part of this game is really cheering and uh, it's really happy kind of uh, game, you know. But this particular level creeped me out so much 
that I stopped playing it. I spent hours of my time playing this game long time ago, back when I don't know what the hell is GTA. Also, you can grab this girl too, but if you want to grab her, she will uh, slap the shit out of you, and yeah, and you, you, you pervert, you, you go to horny jail. So overall, this game is really a masterpiece. It's not a bad game, Capcom, please. Make a Mega Man Legends 3, please Capcom, stop making Street Fighter 5 DLC, start making Mega Man Legends 3, oh that, that rhyme though. <laughs>